This is a quick guide for Illidan Storm Rage, the final boss in the Black Temple raid in World of Warcraft. Please note that this guide has been put together with time walking in mind. Firstly for tanks, you'll need to pop a defensive every time Shear is cast. This move will reduce your maximum health by 60% for 7 seconds if you don't. Draw Soul will deal conal AoE damage in front of Illidan, so make sure you're standing behind him. Also make sure to move out of the flame crashes on the ground, noticeable as large blue fire patches. Parasitic Shadow Fiend will afflict one or two players, who need to be healed constantly. After 10 seconds, the parasite will leave its host, and needs to be killed before it reaches its next fixated target. You really don't want to ignore these, as you'll be quickly overwhelmed by them otherwise. At 65%, Illidan will take flight, and cast the Warglaives down. Two Flame of Azanoth adds will spawn, and these need to be killed to trigger the next phase. It's important to keep these tanked next to their respective glaives, otherwise they'll enrage and deal 500% more damage. Just like with Illidan, the only players in front of these adds should be the tanks, otherwise you'll get hit with massive fire damage. Melee players will want to stand at max range to avoid damage from Blaze, which affects players within 6 yards, and range will want to be further back to avoid fireball damage, which affects players within 10 yards. Make sure you're constantly moving around to avoid fire patches on the ground also. Once the elementals are dead, Illidan will return down to the platform. The moves from phase 1 return, as well as the new Agonizing Flames ability. This is cast on one random player, and they'll need to move out of the raid ASAP to avoid damaging other raiders. Every minute and a half or so, Illidan will change into his demon form. This will increase the amount of damage dealt by 500% and hits all players within 15 yards with ticking damage. Most of the moves Illidan performs while in demon form are variations of moves you've previously encountered, just a bit more painful. However, he'll summon shadow demons which chase targeted players and need to be quickly killed before they reach their prey. He'll return to Night Owl form after about a minute and at 30% phase 4 will kick in alongside the arrival of his arch enemy, Maiev. When you become playable again, continue on with the fight. All the moves from the previous phase continue, with a new Frenzy ability thrown in as well. This increases damage dealt and speed, and once he casts this, he should be moved into one of Maev's cage traps that she throws out, which will stun him. And that's it. Continue managing all of these abilities, making sure adds are the main focus when they're up, and you'll get the kill. Congrats on defeating the Lord of Outland, the main focus of two expansions, and one of the greatest characters lore-wise in the game. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button or subscribe to keep up to date with loads more achievement guides coming soon. Thanks for watching.